For our final project, we decided to analyze Q data in a way that's never been done before. Although the Q data on the Q website allows you to select different classes and look at information about them, and there's no functionality for aggregate class data viewing. We decided to implement that. There are three visualizations associated with our project. The tree allows you to select different classes or different groups of classes to display on the dot plot, which will display two different parameters of those classes compared. Um, there are many different types of classes and types of groups on the tree that you can open and close and expand with the tree's functionality. We also have this detail section that allows you to look at bar graphs and information about particular courses. You can also change the parameters of the x and y axis to compare different values and different parameters for different groups of classes. One interesting trend that we found was that of Life Sciences 1B, which seemed to be the eternal, uh, the eternal loser um, compared to all the other classes in almost every parameter. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there, there were no real redeeming qualities for LS1B, but our tool allowed us to look and compare it to all the other science classes or all the other classes um, in Harvard and really see the, uh, the, drastic, the drastic difference um, across various parameters.